A rose by any other name would smell as sweet as our 10 trivia questions on flowers. Let's go. Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of No Chit Chat Trivia, the trivia podcast with less talk and more trivia. This weekend is my mama's birthday, so happy birthday, mom. I asked her about a month ago if she wanted a special topic for the episode closest to her birthday, and she said, how about flowers? Isn't that just the sweetest, right? So I hope she enjoys this episode, and I hope you all enjoy this episode on flowers. Question number one, often found in the center of flowers, what is the powdery substance produced by most types of flowers for the purpose of reproduction? Often found in the center of flowers, what is the powdery substance produced by most types of flowers for the purpose of reproduction? Number two, indigenous to Mexico and Central America, what red flower is often used in Christmas floral displays? Indigenous to Mexico and Central America, what red flower is often used in Christmas floral displays? Question number three, a favorite snack amongst baseball teams, David, Biggs, and Spitz are some of the top sellers of flavored seeds from what flower? A favorite snack amongst baseball teams, David, Biggs, and Spitz are some of the top sellers of flavored seeds from what flower? Number four, what name is used to classify a flower that manages to bloom more than once in a year? What name is used to classify a flower that manages to bloom more than once in a year? Question number five, designated in 1986 by President Ronald Reagan because of the flower's beauty, versatility, and cultural significance, what is the national flower of the United States? Designated in 1986 by President Ronald Reagan because of the flower's beauty, versatility, and cultural significance, what is the national flower of the United States? Number six, what are the most popular flowers used in celebrations of El Dia de Muertos or the Day of the Dead? What are the most popular flowers used in celebrations of El Dia de Muertos or the Day of the Dead? Question number seven, because the strong odor it emits resembles that of rotting flesh, Amorphophallus titanum, the largest unbranched inflorescence in the world, has what nickname? Because the strong odor it emits resembles that of rotting flesh, Amorphophallus titanum, the largest unbranched inflorescence in the world, has what nickname? The eighth question today, referring to its jagged leaves, what flower's name is derived from the French translation of lion's tooth? Referring to its jagged leaves, what flower's name is derived from the French translation of lion's tooth? Question number nine, frequently appearing in Japanese art, manga, anime, and film, Sakura usually refers to flowers from what type of tree? Frequently appearing in Japanese art, manga, anime, and film, Sakura usually refers to flowers from what type of tree?
And finally, number 10, representing the path to spiritual awakening and enlightenment, what is a sacred flower in both Hinduism and Buddhism? Representing the path to spiritual awakening and enlightenment, what is a sacred flower in both Hinduism and Buddhism? Those were our flowery questions for this Friday. We'll be right back to see how you did. This podcast is sponsored by Talkspace. Maybe you've been thinking about therapy. You realize a therapist could help you work things out, but... I can't afford it. Therapy is expensive. Talkspace is different. Talkspace is one of only a few online mental health providers that takes insurance. Average copays are only $15. I can afford $15. And most insured members pay nothing. Nothing? No co-pays at all? With insurance, I could see a therapist and I might not have to pay anything out of pocket? That's right. Nothing should stand in your way of getting support from a caring, licensed therapist. And if you don't have insurance, no problem. You can pay out of pocket for a lower cost than in-person therapy. And because you meet your therapist online, you can schedule appointments for whenever and wherever it's most comfortable for you. Wow, I'm feeling better already. You can pay for Talkspace with insurance or get $80 off your first month with promo code SPACE80 when you go to Talkspace.com. Match with a licensed therapist today at Talkspace.com. Save $80 with code SPACE80 at Talkspace.com. Welcome back. We're getting into our answers on flowers. Our first question was, often found in the center of flowers, what is the powdery substance produced by most types of flowers for the purpose of reproduction? That substance is pollen. Pollen. Question number two. Indigenous to Mexico and Central America, what red flower is often used in Christmas floral displays? We will all be seeing a bunch of these soon. They are poinsettia. Poinsettia. Number three, a favorite snack amongst baseball teams, David, Biggs, and Spitz are some of the top sellers of flavored seeds from what flower? That flower is a sunflower. Sunflower. Question number four, what name is used to classify a flower that manages to bloom more than once in a year? If a flower manages to bloom more than once in a year, it is a perennial flower. Perennial. Number five, designated in 1986 by President Ronald Reagan because of the flower's beauty, versatility, and cultural significance, what is the national flower of the United States? It was referenced in our opener. It is the rose. Rose. Question number six, what are the most popular flowers used in celebrations of El Dia de Muertos or the Day of the Dead? Those popular flowers are marigolds, marigolds. Question seven, because the strong odor it emits resembles that of rotting flesh, Amorphophallus titanum, the largest unbranched inflorescence in the world, has what nickname? That flower has the nickname the corpse flower. The corpse flower or corpse plant. Question number eight, referring to its jagged leaves, what flower's name is derived from the French translation of lion's tooth? The flower we're looking for here is a dandelion. Dandelion. Number nine, frequently appearing in Japanese art, manga, anime, and film, Sakura usually refers to flowers from what type of tree? That type of tree is a cherry blossom. Cherry blossom. And question number 10, representing the path to spiritual awakening and enlightenment, what is a sacred flower in both Hinduism and Buddhism? That very important flower is... Lotus. A lotus. That's it for today's episode. Once again, I want to wish the happiest birthday to my wonderful and stupendous mother. Thank you for picking such a fun topic for everyone to play. Love you, love you. I hope everyone had a good time playing along and you join us next week for some more trivia fun here on No Chit Chat Trivia. Bye, everyone. (laughs) 
At Zero Price, our curiosity lights the way to help you plan ahead for what matters to you most. Work directly with us, and together, we can help uncover the right investments for you at every stage of your life, whatever your goals. That's the power of curiosity. Better questions, better outcomes. T. Rowe Price. Invest with confidence. Visit trowprice.com slash invest direct to learn more.